Welcome back on the Anglers Extra pregame show. I'm Dominic Catronio. It's time for our catch of the day, right-handed pitcher from North Carolina, Zach Gallen. Zach, you had one of your better outings of the year a couple of days ago on Sunday at Falmouth, and, or rather on Monday at Falmouth. And what was working for you? Understand that we have a new pitch that you have in your repertoire that you learned just a couple of days before that. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, about two weeks ago, I'd say we were at it. Paul and I were having a catch, and he was throwing a cutter, and I was like, wow, it's like working. So let me figure it see what see what happens. So I just started messing around with grips and worked on Monday. Yeah, Monday at Falmouth. So, I mean, I'm going to stick with it, see what happens. So when you're experimenting with these grips and everything, how often are you doing this? And is it just kind of a team thing where you spread along the wealth of knowledge that you guys have? Yeah, I think it's a, a baseball-wide thing. I mean, when you read any articles about pitchers, uh, I remember reading an article about Mariano Rivera. He said that when he found his cutter, he was just messing around. So I think, like, it's just guys got pitches, they work, hey, let me see how that works, let me see what happens. So I think, I mean, pretty much every day I'm messing around with grips, seeing if I can get anything better than what it was before. When you go out to the mound, is there anything that you carry with you on one purpose or one goal that you have when you're on the rubber, or could be a multitude of things for you? Um, my dad's always just told me you can't really strike everybody out, but you can get everybody out. So I just kind of go out there and let my defense make the, make the plays. Don't you really try and strike everybody out. So, I mean, an out's an out, either way. You put a lot of balls on the ground, too. That's kind of been your mantra. And out of North Carolina, you were you know, Sunday guy as a freshman. How was that for you getting thrown right into one of the toughest conference in the nation as the guy closing it out on Sundays? Um, I love I loved the pressure. Uh, I just I love being out there when, when, when the lights are on. I mean, it was great. I, I mean, I really was thankful that they had that much confidence in me to throw me out there on the weekend as a freshman. And uh, it was a good experience. And from Gibbsboro, New Jersey, you came all the way to North Carolina. How did you become a Tar Heel instead of maybe, say, somewhere in the Northeast or go elsewhere? Uh, I don't like the cold, so I tell my mom, listen, I'm going nowhere north of Maryland, even though that's cold anyway. But um, I grew up a Michael Jordan fan. My dad was a huge Carolina fan since, like, the 70s and 80s. And uh, I found him actually lives in Durham, so it was a pretty, pretty easy decision for me. They were, they were close and just, just fell home. Would you say that you're a Carolina fan too, passing on from your father? Oh yeah, I've, I mean, I've been a Carolina fan 11, 10 years, 10, 11 years old. So, I mean, growing up, my room was always Carolina blue and navy. So, I mean, just the way it's been. And you've told me before that it was kind of your dream school. What made it so such a great fit for Zach Allen? Um, I've known Coach Jackson, the recruiting coordinator, hitting coaches. I was about 12 years old. So, I mean, it just the campus, the feel, everything, just. I mean, it's one of those big universities that kids dream about, and that's just the way it's just been. I mean, it just feels like home. Everybody's cool. They're just great people. So, I mean, I love it. And you mentioned now that you don't really like cold weather. That makes two of us here on the interview. But here in Cape Cod, can't complain about the sunshine and the warm weather here. How are you liking so far with Chow? I, I love it. I tell my mom, like, whenever she calls, I'm like, oh, yeah, it doesn't get hot on 80 here. So, I mean, you can't really complain. The humidity is a little, it's all right, it's whatever. But, I mean, you can't complain here. Sunshine. Unfortunately, I had some rain on Sunday, but I mean, you can't complain with the sunshine up here, 80 degrees every day, it's, it's nice. And you mentioned the rain on Sunday. You had your family coming up here trying to watch you pitch. How did that conversation go saying, sorry guys, I'm I mean, pushing back another day? Yeah, uh, so it was supposed to start Saturday and then uh, got pushed back to Sunday and then my dad came, my dad and my brother came up and they were just like, well, I mean, they were, they were kind of frustrated, but at the same time, they were glad just to come up here and see what Veterans Field was about, everything like everything you hear about the Cape. And my dad was like, I wish I could have saw your pitching performance on Monday when I was there in person. But I mean, they were glad just to come up here and see me for a couple of days, so it was good. All right, now, Zach, we did this yesterday with Jesse. We've done it with a few of the guys, and you actually requested this for me. It's time for rapid yeah. fire. Uh, you really wanted this for some yeah, reason. No, it, I'm it, excited. Let's all, right. Go. all right, let's go with the first one here. All right, favorite movie not pertaining to baseball? <sighs> Can I give? You can give multiple. All right. A Bronx Tale, Shooter, and Goodfellas. You're a basketball fan. Who is the best shooter on the team on the court? Ooh, Charlie's pretty good. I, I mean, I can shoot a little bit, but Charlie's pretty good. That's a surprising answer. Charlie Dan. Charlie is a very good jump shot. We played a couple days ago, and he, he hit a couple threes. I'll give him that. Now, we asked Jordan Hillier this, but he misunderstood the question. Who is the <laughs> fastest pitcher, as in running a 100-meter dash? Everybody thinks Lou. But I want to I want to shout at that title. I think I could give him a run for his money. I don't know, but I'd have to say Lou because we haven't raced yet. So I'll stick with Lou. Well, Lou was going to be a pinch runner in a game. You know I was that, a right? Heartbroken, honestly. I was ready to go. I had my cleats on. I was like raising my hand, but they went with Lou instead. Who do you think is the best interview on the team? On the team, can I count Bat Boys? Sure. Okay, Michael for sure. <laughs> I watched him the other day. 
Kid's a pro. Season vet. Season vet. And you give it away from yourself. That's that's very impressive. You survived rapid fire. Yeah, I mean, I gotta give it to him. What's what's Michael? How old is he? Thirteen? I don't know. Fourteen? Yeah, I mean. No way, 14 years old, because I've given an interview like that. So I, I got to give it to him. Well, a freshman just did a great interview here. Zach Gallen joining us on the Catch of the Day. Thank you for joining us Love here, Zach. Here. Thank you, thank you. That's it for the Tar Heel. Johnny, let's send it back to you in the booth.